Hello there guys, Tombo Combo here, and in this video we're going to be doing a FIFA ratings podcast with a couple of my mates. Um, just before we get into the video, sorry about the connection on someone's mic. Um, there is a little bit of like kind of static clicking noise. It was literally because the connection was like struggling on the call. Um, but if we do do a, um, a podcast again, it will be uh, all sorted out. So just before we get into the podcast, I just want to kind of explain what I've been doing for two years and why I've been uploading. So basically it's because... I didn't really enjoy FIFA. Um, weekend League was boring. Squad building challenges were boring. The game was overall just stale. Um, but this year I've played the beta of FIFA 20 and I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, there's some good kind of additions to the game that I kind of want to bring to you lot. Make some content on it. Um, especially Foot Friendly. So it's actually a really good game mode that's been overlooked so far. So yeah, I'm going to be uploading content hopefully about four or five times a week. So if you're excited for that, leave a like on the video, subscribe down below if you want to see any more from me. But yeah, let's get into the podcast. Um, we tried our best. It might not be the best one. If you, if you enjoy it, like I said, leave a like on the video, comment down below what you want us to make a podcast on. Because after like we're done with the main bit of the podcast, I did say um, that uh, I wouldn't mind doing like a weekly Barclays Premier League show. So we talk about the games maybe beforehand or after um we do predictions and stuff like that so if you want to see that sort of stuff then leave a like and comment down below saying you'd like to see it but yeah get into the video guys hope you enjoy it all right let's get straight into it archie P pick your first player hey, hang on let me get my list up oh shit i didn't make a list no that's all right me and archie would just, yeah me and archie would just do the list you lot can just comment on it you lot can steal our work um yeah okay let's start off with lingard he's the most controversial probably in the premier league Right, so what rating's he? 82? Off the top of my head, yeah. I don't have the rating, so I don't know. Brilliant. So this is the FIFA ratings podcast, and you don't even have the ratings <laughs> written down. <laughs> right, Charlie, you're going to have to get the ratings then. It's 82. I know that. Yeah, he's 82, yeah. Right. Right. Talk about him then, Arch. Well, he hasn't had a single assist or goal contribution in the whole of 2019, so... It... What's he got to Warren at 82? He can dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, to be quite honest, I don't... Fuck through my head headphones, I don't know. I, I don't think he should be 82, to be fair. I'd say 80 would be generous. Uh, Wait, are you Warren. recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Charlie, your voice is just like... Hello... Uh, He's fine for me. Yeah, and your head's fat, mate, so. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Can't bloody win. All right. Yeah, so what's everyone saying for uh, Lingard? I'd say he should be 79. He should, he should be worse than Mount. Mount got double figures and goal contributions last year. It's probably arguably a, more competitive in League 1. Right. No, Archie, what what would you say for um, Lingard? What rating? 78, 77. Charlie? Uh, we'll go 79. Uh, I'll say 80. The ratings aren't consistent if you compare it to other players. Well, yeah, but uh, ratings are done off reputation as well. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll go with one now. So you've picked Lingard. I'll go with uh, Zidane, who's prime icons 96 rated. The same as Fat Ronaldo and just under Maradona and uh, Pele. Mm. He's uh, better than Johan Cruyff. What's people saying about that? Sounds arguably okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's that much of a problem with that. No, I, Was that... I think he's overrated compared to other legends in the game. Yeah, so do I. I think he should be 94 max. Like his um, that's that compared um compared to Bale's at Real Madrid is worse. That's true. Good point. Good point. Yeah, no, I I don't agree with Zidane's rating. I think he should be like ninety four. But then again, who am I to tell you that? All right, Arch. You're the pro YouTuber, so you are. Yeah, good point. I'm gonna be Mr. fucking Combo. taking over the FIFA scene. Okay, Mister Combo, right. what do you want? Well, pick another one. I don't know. Hang on. Oh, I know Reeve wanted to talk about. You wanted to talk about Bale, didn't you? I got Bale on my list. We'll, we'll get to that. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Just... Let's start with Pucky and Abraham. 
because I think uh, you could sort of uh, one stone with those two because they both had quite a good season last year. Pucky obviously better, but Abraham almost got the same amount in less games. So, right. So, what are you saying about Abraham? Uh, What's his over? Fair, I think uh, he's seventy six. Uh, that sounds about right. Um, so you say so you say that no, you say that Abraham should be seventy six. About right, as in what it is on the game, but um, I'd say oh. he should be about seventy nine, and so should Pucky. Yep. Yeah. Clearly yeah, got talent, I... just because they haven't had the opportunity. Oh, every footballer's got talent. That's why they're a professional footballer. But uh, let me point. reword that: some more than others, then. But the thing is, he's. This is the first season he's properly performed, like the one before this at for Aston Villa. Like before that, he hasn't really ever performed. So, just after one, and he was. He was doing it in the championship yeah, as well. Exactly. Like, like as soon as he brings it to the Premier League, he'll get upgrades. But at the moment. I don't think he deserves anything over like a 77, 78. So if he scores like 30 goals this season, hypothetically, I'm not saying he's going to. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah then he'll get an upgrade. <laughs> he'll get an upgrade to like 84, 85. But is he realistically going to get 30 goals in his first season in the top flight, like consistently playing? Well, in five Probably games, not. He's got five goals, so. Right. Against well, United, he uh, hit the bar twice, didn't he? Or the crossbar? Yeah, not clinical enough, mate. That's why. That's just bullshit. Yeah, but again with Pookie as well. Like it's his first season in a major league. He played in the Bundesliga for a bit, but I think this is his only like spell. I think at so Norwich was a major that... league, isn't it? Well, he was a seventy-six last year. Right. Yeah, big, but like uh, he's a seventy-seven this year. But like, is he actually like? I don't think he's actually been consistent in any team he's played at. The thing is, if Giroud went into the championship, do you actually see him scoring more than uh, Pukki, Pucky, whatever you want to call him, in the championship? Probably, yeah. If, different type of players as well. Goals, he, Pucky got, what, 28, so you reckon he'd actually get 29, 30 goals? I, I he did pretty well. I don't think he's even got the fitness to score, like, 20, if not, like, 25. You were sucking him off last season. Yeah, oh, I fucking love Giroud. The problem is, I don't, I don't care if uh, he doesn't get goals because it's what players create space and um, things like that, and that's why he gets in the France team because players work off him. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't think, uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with Pucky's rate. And maybe a yeah, rate and higher, but maybe like a two, three upgrade from because he was the top scorer. But until he like proves himself in the Prem, like it's difficult to be like, yeah, he should be. 85. It'd also been a different if he was like player of the, like player of the year in the league, but I think it was Max Aaron. So yeah, like yeah, you can't really complain of that, right? Kaka, 91 rated prime. I reckon he should be like 93. Out Charlie, yeah. well, Kaka, what like his prime one? Uh, yeah, the yeah, door. 91, 90. Yeah, I guess yeah. If you're going off Ballon d'Or. Kaka, like 94, yeah. 90. Yeah, I don't know. I um, Did that win the Ballon d'Or? Uh, no, but I wasn't that much of a fan of Kaka. But That's just I, being personal not, preference. Yeah, yeah. No, the thing is as well, 91 rated, he's one rating higher than JJ Kocha, who essentially done nothing with his career, oh. played for Bolton. <laughs> that's well, yeah, you know, that's a different story, yeah. Like, so, like... Uh, I'd probably say Kaka should be 92 rated, but I wouldn't put him above uh, Burkamp or. Mm, yeah, Burkamp. You put him level. way above Burkamp. Of course you would, you melt. You put Makaleli in there, you're like, oh, I should be 99 rated. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, right, but this I'll go with another one. This one the Ballon oh. d'Or, so he's. Wait. Um, what's Burkamp? Like, Burkamp was a great player. I, I'm not taking that away from him, but. Yeah, but how do they actually do the rating? I don't get it. It's just a popularity contest, I think. Nah, they they do it from player stats plus um like reputation. So for example, Zidane was more of a well known player than uh who else? Probably Johan Cruyff in this generation. So Zidane got a high rating even though Johan Cruyff like I'm pretty sure he changed the way 
the Netherlands played and Barca paid, so yeah. he should be higher rated, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah. I, I... Um, but yeah, I don't really know how they do the ratings. That's why, like, they're so controversial. But yeah, so you lot are saying Zidane should be around ninety three rated, but I'm saying probably ninety two. Yeah, I think him and Kaka like should be around the same. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I meant Kaka, not Zidane. But yeah, I'd, I'd probably say the same because. I I didn't even think Zidane was that good. Was he even, but I didn't really see a lot the of him. But white bald Paul Pogba, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, like in his true prime, which is like early two thousands. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, um, was it France World Cup? What was it? Was it ninety eight France World Cup? Or was it two thousand two? Yeah, yeah ninety eight. Yeah, that that's when I'm sure he did really well. Yeah. What about SEN? 90 rated. Oh, I don't know how he swindled that. Yeah, I'm a Chelsea fan. That's just retarded. I'd say 88, 87 tops. So, yeah, I'd probably say 80. I'd probably say 88 to 80. Yeah, about 88. I, I didn't think he was that good to even... I didn't even think he warranted a legend card. Like, what's he actually done, really, in his career? One, like, played for Chelsea, done pretty well there. Went to Madrid, but did he even play that much at Madrid? So, this, this is what makes me think it's fans' favourites, because huge following in Ghana, he's like the ever Ghanaian players. So, if they're like, oh, let's just make him amazing and OP, people from Ghana will spend loads on packs. Yeah. yeah, that's what. Yeah, I also do think is it is um regionality as well because obviously JJ Kocha would never actually get an icon if they didn't want to appeal to the Nigerian market. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, all right. Ronaldo ninety three rated, Messi ninety four rated. What are we saying? Correct. One hundred percent correct. Archie, can you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldo ninety three, Messi ninety four. What are we saying? Uh, I'd say Messi higher than Maradona, so I'd be like 98, but I guess he's not a legend, so he doesn't have a stupid OP card. Yeah, um, they they base the ratings off kind of potential informs as well, so if Messi's going to have a 98 rated base card, then every other inform or <laughs> special yeah. card he gets is not really an upgrade. Yeah, That's why they make uh, yeah the current players less rated. I agree with it this year. I prefer Ronaldo any, but... Uh, Messi had a better season, so I can't really argue with it. Yeah. Archie, have you got one? Um, mine are pretty much mostly uh, Chelsea related. I can't lie. So yeah, uh, we know you, you sent them <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Let's say um, Adoy. He's just signed a new contract worth 180 grand a week. You he was played like six number, games to you. He was offered the number seven shirt at Bayern Munich, right? Yeah. Team there. It? So he's obviously got so much potential. Look at what they've done with Coman. Gennady, yeah, so his potential will be high, but not his best. Yeah. No. I'm not saying that, but he's clearly got ability. He's not 74 or whatever he is. He's like. What, what's his? What is his rating? Can someone check? So uh, I don't know. Still, but Archie, he's 18 and he's played 12 league games for you. If he was given the opportunity Sancho or Pulisic will, um, has had, he'd be. Yeah, but he hasn't. So if he does get that chance, then he'll get an upgrade if he performs. That doesn't take and... away his, the fact that he's still got ability just because he hasn't had that opportunity. Yeah, but Martin Odegaard had ability, but his uh, rating when he signed for uh, Madrid was like 69 rated. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like Man United's academy player, yeah, Mason Greenwood, he should be 8, eight rated because he's got so much ability. No, he's like 65 rated because he's a young player that... Again, like, if he went to Dortmund, he'd be probably sick. It's just that he's yeah, just but he hasn't gone to Dortmund, so we can't rate him off in the future. He might do this. Yeah, Troy Parrott should be at least 91. In my Jaden Sancho last year, I think his base card was a 74, and then he went up to an 84 this year. Like Until they actually prove themselves, and Adoy hasn't done that at the moment, then they're not going to get upgraded. So I agree with 74. Maybe a 75, but yeah, not, not any higher. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I've got another one. What about uh, Matic? What's, I think his rating's 82. 82? How he pulled that off? How, how has he pulled that off? 82. I'm, I mean, he didn't play last year. So, I mean, that's what he was an 86 last year, and EA don't normally give ridiculously 
different ratings to the previous year. Um, Matic, 82, so that's a four downgrade. I mean, he could probably, I, I'd probably say he's an 80 rated. Yeah. It, they're not going to... They're not going to downgrade him to like a 69. Yeah. But he is shit. He was too high the year before, that's why. He should have been like... Yeah. Like 83 tops anyway. Like if yeah, I think they're still rating him on that Chelsea season where he was just like unreal. Yeah. And the thing is as well, if he played in like a different team, if he didn't play for United, he'd probably be... uh, Like, say he played for Wolves or Leicester, he'd probably be like a 78 rated player, but because... He's at United, he gets that reputation boost. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I'd probably agree with Matic's rating, maybe a little bit lower, but you can't downgrade him a lot. Um. Here's a downgrade. So Marcelo got Team of the Year last year, and he's been uh downgraded by three, so he's an 85 instead of an 88. With some of their results last year, I'd say that's probably more than fair. Well, yeah, I didn't watch him much last year but like me and Reeves said about it earlier when you've been consistently like the best left back in the world for like however many years yeah you sh- I think it's a bit disrespectful yeah, I think it's a bit out of order I think maybe a one rating yeah. downgrade and yeah. the whole the whole defence got a downgrade except from Carvalho I think so I think Ramos is 89 instead of 91 uh, Marcelo's obviously gone from 88 to an 85 I don't know what Varane got, but he got downgraded, and then Courtois got downgraded by two. Um, yeah, eighty-five. I think is a little bit bad. He's on par with Andy Robertson now. So, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know about that. Yeah. Andy Robertson, one good season, and there's all of a sudden. Well, it's been a couple of good seasons. Yeah, I wouldn't say one good season. He's had a de- decent couple. It's just that they won the Champions League last year, so he got a massive upgrade. Mm. Yeah, it was like one and a half. Um. Verge, Virgil van Dijk, 90 rated. For all. What are we saying? <laughs> <laughs> so he started last year as an 85, then got boosted to an 88 rated player um, in January, and now they've made him 90 rated, probably because he's a cover star as well. But Well, yeah, that's probably about right, to be honest. Like 88, 89. Well, they're, they're rating van Dijk the best centre back um, like in the game now. I'd agree. Yeah. You'd agree, yeah. I can't think of anyone better at all. Not, uh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, oh. so I think that's about. Right. I uh, again, I, I get he's good in that, but he's gone up five ratings this year. Eighty nine, I reckon, put him on the same uh, level as Ramos for a year, and then yeah. let him go up if he's better. I'm surprised he hasn't got a liver. Pull like legends card or something the way that they go on about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, especially like Godin got downrated two, um, downgraded two ratings as well. I don't watch the La Liga that much, but is that fair? I don't know. I've not a clue. It's pretty hard. I mean, he's aging a little bit. That's probably why. Yeah. You can't this is um, the whole like thing? Just because you've aged doesn't mean you turn shit. So. Yeah. Well, no, but Iniesta in like three years has gone from an eighty-eight rated player to an eighty-three now. She's gone off to like Qatar or something. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, Japan, to... um, Japan. But oh, was it? Oh, Xavi went to Qatar, didn't he? Yeah, but I mean, well, yeah. It, if they're going to go to these kind of countries, then they're going to have to get downgraded. Archie, next player. Uh, okay, let's go with Ashley Young. I don't know. Rating, is he? I'm sure is he like eighty two. Let me double check. No, he's not. <laughs> He's definitely not. He was, I think, 79 last year. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I so very much doubt he's 82. 77? That's what it's 77. Yeah, 77 right back when I swear he played left back last year. Uh, no, he was mostly right back. Was he? His, um, his... played right That's back. That's a sober. Huh? Actually, Young did play left back and he had Darmian right back. Damian hasn't played football in like two years. I was going to say it was the lot, if anything. The lot, the lot. Um, I know it's one of the D's. Uh, yeah, he played a lot of right. Yeah, I, I'd agree with Young's rating because he's still an England international as well, so you can't really 
like well, rating that bad are awful but he's... yeah yeah but he's still getting the England team probably why Lingard's that high as well well what I don't he... understand sorry I'll let Reeves go uh, you didn't get last uh, England team did you surely not no nah, no he didn't you got the World Cup team I know it was a year ago but yeah, what I don't get is how has he got the 77 rated when none of his like pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, defending, physicality. None of that's above a seventy-seven. Like the highest seventy-five. Um, How does it work? I don't think the ratings actually feed into the. Uh, no, the stats actually feed into the ratings. Because when I look at Ronaldo, he's a ninety-three rated. He's got no stats over ninety-three. Oh, it's just um, yeah. Again, it's done from reputation and skill, but the stats don't have a like. They're not correlated to the rating. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think about seventy six, seventy sevens, right? So. Yeah, I'd say it's about right. What are you saying, Archie? Right? Uh, yeah, I'd say yeah. Ashley Young is better than Callum Hudson Odoi. Yeah, that's yeah. Fair. <laughs> oh, I don't, no, um... no, no, no. I'd probably say seventy five. <laughs> Still better if Odoi is seventy four. Fair enough. Um, Sterling I, I and Salah. That, uh, Adoy was better. <laughs> I'm not. Um, I'm not. I'm not agreeing with Adoy's rating, am I? No, oh, whatever. So, yeah. um, Sterling eighty-eight rated, Salah ninety. Uh, Who's the yeah. one that had the most stupid stats compared to Son as well? I know you're probably going to mention that in a bit, but who is that player? He's got like. Um, I don't know. I know um, Lucas Moira's stats are the same as Sterling or are like a little bit oh, different. Yeah. That's just and it, there's like a five rating like difference between the two. I personally think Sterling at an 88 rated would be the same I mean, I'd agree with last the... year, in my opinion. Really? I'd, I'd agree with the rating of Sterling, but I don't think that Salah's a 90. I think he should be an 89. Yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah, I just... I don't know what it is. I just, I don't think he's as good as everyone makes out to be. But then again, he's basically got the, the uh, most goals in the Prem for the past two years. So yeah, well, that's why it's hard to do, hard to like argue with it because of what he's done, like statistically. Yeah, and obviously we're not looking at stats, but Sterling's shooting is a, like, I think seventy nine. Definitely should be about an eighty three. Yeah, his finishing's improved. So that's why he's putting out such good stuff now, because of the fact he seems to have learned how to have an end product. Yeah, I, I like Sterling. But then, yeah, Salah most again, 90 rated. Most I'd of say his goals 89. come from within the box, though. His long shot should still be, like, low 70. Yeah, I know, but that's how City play. They don't shoot it from 30 yards. They he's pass it in, now. basically. Uh, De Bruyne his finishing's, De Bruyne does his finishing's decent. So I'd I'd say shooting should be a bit higher. Son is an eighty-seven. What's people saying about that? Yeah, uh, it's sort of be about that. Yeah, I'd say like eighty-six, eight. Yeah. Really? I I think that's a bit high I like considering. I he's good. I like him, but I think he's inconsistent as well. So. Yeah, Reeves is the one to tell us if he is or not. Yeah, yeah, he is inconsistent. Though. But when he is good, he's like eighty nine rated player. But then obviously you have games where he just doesn't really do much. So sixty rated, yeah. <laughs> and that averages him out about seventy four. Then like Callum Hudson Doyle. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'd say for Son maybe an eighty six, same as Firmino and Lacazette. But yeah. Yeah, you're just the jinky fans. Well, Firmino, people are now saying he's the best player in the league. So apparently, oh, that should... pisses me off. Saying he's underrated. No, he's not. No, oh, I, I, I saw that... I um, overlooked, but I didn't say he's overrated, like, underrated. Like. I, I saw a thing saying he's the best in his position, which, I mean... What is his position? What is he a striker? Is he a attacker? It, he's kind of a centre-forward, isn't it? Slash cam. Well, that's because no one else does what he does. Like, that's why... <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's like the only player I know that can literally just drop back from the striker's role and just feed in his wingers. Yeah, um, he's good, yeah, he's... He's not the best player in the league, is he? No. Archie, you got one? Uh, hmm. Let's go with... Uh, how about Kepa? He dropped, What's his uh, name? Well... T4, I think. Literally. 
Kid, we're on a FIFA ratings podcast. Kid don't even know the ratings. Yeah, he's prepared all these names, doesn't he? 84. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> so, um, and he's dropped David De Gea from the Spanish squad. So, after yeah, that... Yeah, because De Gea's been there. so poor. That's not because he's been so good. Yeah, you can't, you can't really say, um, oh, it's because he's dropped him from the Spanish squad. De Gea's literally had a woeful year, been downgraded to ratings. Kev hasn't exactly been that great in the Premier League, I don't think. Wasn't he like he had the fourth highest clean sheets last year or third highest? Well, I yeah, and he's like, the, uh, he's like the fourth highest keeper in the league. I didn't see the Chelsea game, but apparently wasn't, one he should have saved the, like, one of their goals or something. Another like mistake or something. Oh, the, C- the Cutrone, or how have you said Patrick Cutrone, his shot was um, from about four yards out. So to be fair, you can't do anything there. And uh, there was another where it sort of deflected and bounced and then someone mm. shot. So it was all really close. It was all within the six-yard box, I think. Let's face it as well. Should Kepper even have a uh, playable card? Should be a manager, shouldn't he? <laughs> very original. Yeah. All right. Here's one for me. Sanchez and 82. Yeah. Are we talking about uh, Alexis. I don't know. Reputation. Yeah, I'd probably say an eighty-four. Eighty-four. I was thinking like, damn. <laughs> nah, he was an eighty-seven last year. No, it it was an eighty-seven last year. Did he even get that many games in the United squad? Because I don't think he did. He had his chances. Let's put it that way. Yeah, but. For a year and a I half, don't know. what's he done to warrant above 80? That's an insult to players. Oh, I was going to say like 81, 82. Yeah, I think that's I was about right. say 78, like 79. Yeah, but yeah. You could imagine him going somewhere else in Italy and then he'll just smash it and be like yeah. back to his old... Again, set. this is like saying about... Like, yeah, it's all good saying he could do this, he could do that, but until he does it, then no. he should get the increase. <laughs> Right, so you're essentially saying that Adoy's not going to change his rating because he's not going to do it. I'm not saying he's not going to do it. I'm just saying that you should increase him when he does it, not just go, oh, let's put him 82 because he might go to Italy and do it. Well. Archie, you are aware of what you were saying earlier on in this. Literally. What do you mean? <laughs> you, you literally said <laughs> about Adoy. what you're saying. You, you're, I'm using what you said. Against your statement, yeah. so I mean, fair enough, but I, I don't think I, I don't think Sanchez is like five downgrades. Uh, maybe an eighty-three. Then I'd say an eighty-three is fair. Still the, heart, the difference, the way. difference between Sanchez and Adoy, in the sense of like, oh, they could go out and do it somewhere else, is because Sanchez has done it before. Yeah, in the Premier League, Adoy hasn't. So that's why it's like Sanchez had a good career at um, Udinese. They went to Barca. I mean, didn't exactly do that well at Barca but he, he's always performed in the Chilean national team still does perform in the Chilean national team they went to Arsenal like was probably the best player or one of the best players in the Prem for them years and then has gone to United and had a <coughs> shit one one and a half year like it's a bit like Falcao he came and he still kept to like what 80 I think he was an 88 at United then was an 86 87 at Chelsea yeah, that's just stupid. Just because, yeah, but, yeah, but that's again, that's off what he what can do. Before, yeah, yeah, I know, but you, you, it should be you should get an upgrade in winter if you've proved yourself. If well, yeah, but then Archie, that means that De Bruyne would be like a sixty rate because he hadn't played all year last year due to injury. Though that's different. Don't care. Form. Um. All right. So, so for got... for Sanchez. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you go about Sanchez. I, I was gonna say so for Sanchez. I'm saying eighty three. Reeve, what are you saying? I was at 82 is fair enough. Charlie? Yeah, 82, 81. Arch? 74. Brilliant. <laughs> All right, Reeve, you go. Uh, 78, 78. Kante's 89. Like, after last year, he didn't really do... Yeah, I think that's overrated. And he's a CDM. That yeah. just pisses me off. No, he hasn't played there for this year. I, I think he should be 87. Yeah, I'd say like yeah, like around that region. He's definitely not as good as the Leicester winning season, and then his first year at Chelsea was good, but I think he's gone down a little bit then. Yeah. Yeah. Archie, what are you saying? 
Uh, well, to be honest, Kovacic has been doing so well, and so is Mount, and the only player I can see him replacing is Jorginho, but the, the fans are starting to like him, so, like, I don't know, it's weird, we've got Loftus-Cheek coming back, Kante, where are they all going to fit in, because... Right, this isn't the Chelsea podcast, I'm asking for his rating. <laughs> yeah, I know, but this is what I'm saying, Kante has got this 89 rated, but... How's he going to fit into a team which has got players which are like 78 rated? So I'm saying that his rating is too high. I honestly don't think he's 89. Like 80, 90, Right. What would you say? 86, 85? Uh, I'd probably say 86. Right. Fair enough. And then Charlie and Reef both agree with kind of 87-ish. 86, yeah. 86, 87. Yeah. Um, all right. Lukaku is an 85. Um... I reckon like 84, 83. I'd say 84 is enough. Yeah. Yeah. Get goals and stuff. Just not- he was an 86 last year. Um, so I'd say 84 is kind of, I'd agree with that. But then like what Archie said in the WhatsApp chat, Vardy's an 82 again. Vardy had a decent year last year. Well, you're, he's, yeah, he's been consistent. Yeah, he's perf- yeah performing consistently in, the, um, consistently in the Prem. Him and Lukaku probably should be the same rating. Why is that? Going Why off. he should be one or two higher then, shouldn't he, if he's had better consecutive seasons? But at Lukaku's peak, he could like outperform Vardy easily. Like, look at him at Everton. Look at Vardy when he won the league. Yeah, I don't actually know how far off are their goals. Like, have you actually looked at the stat? Because I don't know. Because even at United, like, he was bad, but he was still putting up, like... He was still getting goals. Yeah, he was still getting goals for us. Like he just wasn't his all round play wasn't good. But he's got I twenty even... plus goals, whereas Lukaku's never broke twenty. So how's I don't he know about that. Really? I'm sure I've heard that stat before. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's fact check and fact check. Yeah, I'm I'm getting on the sure, uh, Barclays yeah. Premier League app right now. So Vardy got twenty four in the league when in one, thirteen next year, twenty the year after, and then eighteen last year he scored 25 in the year he joined United like the year before but is that Premier League no, I'm talking about yeah Premier League Who... and Lukaku's worst year last year he st- still scored 12 goals whereas Vardy scored 18 which yeah Vardy out scored him in 2017-18 in the Premier League um, 16-17 uh, Lukaku got 25 Vardy got uh, thirteen. Vardy's just got so much more ability as well. He can pass it, and mm, I don't know about that. I'd I'd say Lukaku's got more ability. Just strength and with a strong shot. And he's quite quick as well. If he gets he up to like quick, full yeah. sprinting, yeah. But he's even quicker. I'd I'd say Lukaku's the better player, but it's just whether he performs or not. Well, that's the thing. There was a point at United when he started like. He seemed to just suddenly magic a touch out of like out of somewhere, and then all his ability just went. Like he was holding the ball up well and stuff, and then all of a sudden he just like turned to crap again. Yeah. Anyway, let's move Belgium. on from that. Archie, it's Belgium's highest rated uh, striker. Uh, Reed's back in. Uh, yeah, his connection's been dropping for a while. Um, yeah, Archie, have you got any other players? Uh, no, that's I've gone through that list. I sent in. Right, I've got a couple more then. So, Bale's an 85. Who wants to go first? Reeve had Dan. to play on that earlier. Yeah, like Reeve's also not about. talking, so yeah. someone else can go. Go on, Archie. I think the Dan's made that rating on his behalf. Ah, yes. Yeah, pretty Reeve? much. It's just been... Because... I think the fact that Zidane's been like, yeah, I don't want to play him, like, and stuff has kind of, like, tricked people into thinking that he's not good anymore. Yeah, I, I still would say Bale was probably 86, 87. Yeah. But then if, if we're going off that, then surely Neymar deserves a downgrade because no one at PSG really wants to play him. Well, yeah. I, he, played, yeah. he played yesterday and scored an overhead kick, but it's not a point. <laughs> Reeve well. and he got booed by all the fans every single Reeve were talking about Bale right uh, I don't know how he's an 85 it's a joke what would you say is I'd say he deserves still 87 well he's better than Stones yeah. isn't he 
Yeah, one hundred percent better ability than Sun. And Sun's an eighty seven. Yeah. But then Sun probably deserves an eighty six and then Bale eighty seven. Yeah, I'd say eighty seven and eighty eight for Bale. Yeah. I, I said that as well. I think eighty five is literally just a joke. Like Marco Roy's is an eighty eight and he's not been like as good as he was when he was younger. Uh, no, I think Royce last year had a quality season. Yeah, he had a good season right, yeah sure. other than that, but the couple before that, he was just always injured in and out. Of the season. Yeah, he was injury prone. Uh, yeah, I'd say Bale 87, 88. I, I feel like he's been a bit shafted with his rating. All right, this one, I think very... Replace Mana oh. or uh, Salah with um, Bale, and Bale would, uh, I think, probably outperform. Yeah, definitely. Mane if he was given the opportunity. Yeah, least. yeah. But then again, them three players, they work in Liverpool's team. Uh, Bale at Tottenham was very, like, everything went through him, like Sanchez at Arsenal. Um, I don't know if him at Liverpool would really work that well. but He's not like yeah. that Real Madrid. They play as a team, and when he gets it, he makes the most of it, which is what I think it'd be like at Liverpool. They don't just play everything yeah. for I- him. Yeah, I, th- I think like Bale's been mugged off a bit there. All right, we've got f- four more left. So, uh, Gulasic, or whatever his name is, this keeper for RB Leipzig that has somehow magically got an 85 rated card from a 79. Anyone heard of him? Uh, well, after my recent Wikipedia search, I'll tell you all about his life story. <laughs> when did you grow up? <laughs> oh, God, I've forgotten. Oh, well, he was, literally. Like, he was Liverpool's keep, like third keeper for like five years, and he went to like Tranmere out on loan places like that, and then went to RB Salzburg, and then to Leipzig, and then that was in like twenty. I don't even know what year, but he's been there a few years, and he's like, yeah. I mean, this is the thing I don't understand. Right, EA gave uh, Kevin Trapp and Jan Sommer. Both team of the season cards, both 95 rated. Both have kept their rating, not got any upgrade. This Gula, Gulasic is now above their rating. So Trap's an 83 and Summer's an 84. This guy's got a six rating upgrade, didn't even get a team of the season card. Like, Gula, how? Gulacci, isn't it? I'm reading it as. Yeah, 2015 yeah. he joined RB Leipzig. I, I don't get how he's got this rating upgrade. It's just team balancing, I think, isn't it? Because. I honestly think it has something to do with just balance and uh, yeah, like making sure they have enough league that are like good enough to play with or not with a team, something yeah. like. That. Yeah, no, but even if they done that, you got Herodeki, you got Trap, Sommer, Neuer. Um, well, there's, that, there's four already. His Wikipedia says that he was voted the best goalkeeper of the autumn part of the Bundesliga season. So like, well, yeah, well, that means anything, like, don't well, mean. yeah, that's so he great. Though. He can he can be best rated. He, yeah, he can months. be best rated. But why has he not got a team of the season card if he's deserved a six rating well, upgrade? I don't get it. I don't know. It's stupid. Yeah, but if people are better, then then people should be upgrading. They haven't, so I don't get EA. Stupid company. Yeah. Um. Right. That's three more. Actually, that uh, um Wyden fella is that pressure Dortmund for years. He should have a um. He was like a club legend there. Viden fella. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Are you actually kidding me? As a legend, yeah. he should have an icon card. Apparently. Jesus Christ! I've got one actually. That we talk- Is that hey. a Jesus Christ comment? What's wrong with that, mate? You, you're the sort of kid to give Aurelio Gomez a um, legend card. He played 349 games for them over what 15, uh, 16 years. Yeah, Dean Lewin and got a, um, played a load of games for Dons. That mean he's gonna get an icon card. But he was a good goalkeeper. He was one of the yeah, best. Yeah, but he wasn't like he wasn't like out st- like the best in the world at any point, was he? Yeah, these was icon JJ cards Apocha should be and that Japanese bloke and whoever. They're, it's just like it's club yeah, legends. We've been there. through why they're legends. Like... Yeah, it's, it's all regionality. But there's Germany have got enough legends that they don't need to throw in some like nobody when they've got Philip Lahm and people like that waiting to get legend cards. Really annoyed, He's dude. definitely not getting a legend. Anyway, Reef, what, what were you going to say? Uh, well, just looking at the stats, and like Pogba's got the same as Sterling. Like, how does that make sense? They're both 88. And Pogba has better shooting when Sterling's yeah. got many more goals. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
I mean, Sterling, what did he get? Young player of the year or something like that? Yeah. And he was like top five assister. And then he, how many goals did he get? Quite a lot. I think he got about 18, 17, something like that. Yeah. Pogba had a mediocre year for the one of the world's most expensive players. I would say that and Pogba keeps his rating. Pogba does a fair huh? shooting, though, I'd say. Even still. Because Sterling's have all been like yeah, but, tappings uh, and. Yeah, Archie, you're going off players um, having a better long shot because if in that way then Granite Jack has probably got a better uh, shot than Sterling but actually when you go down to it Sterling's shooting should be made up of his finishing as well and his finishing is like one of the best in the world or one of the best in the Prem 100% yeah I think about 86 87 is right with Pogba but I think Sterling should be bumped up to like 89 and then Pogba like 87 like they shouldn't be on the same level after the seasons they've had yeah, I, I, I'd agree with that. I'd say Polka does deserve to have that shoot. I know he, is, he has got a good shot. In him. I'm not saying he doesn't. I'm just saying that Sterling, like, he's so good at finishing that he should be better at shooting than they've given him. Um, anyway, I've got three more. So I've got Ozil as an 84. Literally didn't play last year. He was an 86 rated last year. I don't know how they've pulled out an 84 card for him. Well, that's like you say, they don't downgrade people that much. Right? Yeah, but when they've given... Bale a free downgrade, uh, yeah. Sanchez a five downgrade, Ozil should be probably 83, 82 rated. Yeah. I know he like he can do it, but well, like... he hasn't done it for Arsenal, so get like he needs to get downgraded at this point. Mm. Yeah, like eighty two, eighty three I'd say for Ozil. Like, I don't think yeah. that's far. But then to be fair, I wouldn't put him on the same level as Jesse Lingard. So like we were saying earlier, Lingard should go down to about an eighty. Yeah. Uh, as a way to um but yeah i just think that's stupid um buffon has gone from an 88 to an 80 um 88 to an 83 jesus christ mm. what jesus i don't watch the P- psg in the league and that so yeah i don't know how he's performed I, yeah, yeah neither, neither do i, I, I can't but really comment on like these ones in the bundesliga and stuff like so i don't really know Nah, I'm neither sure do I, but... Like, oh, Strasbourg, uh, left back. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't oh, um, yeah, but with Buffon, like, he's got he's got a five rating downgrade, but he's now uh, Juve's third choice keeper as well, so I'd probably yeah. give him a little bit more. Yeah, he's behind uh, Chesney and Perrin. I think, I, I, from what I like, it yeah, looks like... Too. I don't, like, from what I've seen of Chesney, he's been, he's improved. He's just like, yeah. a different man. But what I'd what I'd say from Buffon is he's probably gone there for like a director role after. Yeah, so I, I reckon he's probably gonna play that. one more season. He's probably like, yeah, I'll do my coaching and everything, and I'll just be your third keeper. Like, yeah, to be so, back, huh? yeah, I'd I'd probably downgrade him a little bit more if he's gonna be third choice, especially when nine Golan last year again. Going back to this team of the season thing, he got a ninety three rated team of the season card, got downgraded by two. Like he's now an eighty three rated player. I think it's because he left for Calgary, but again, I, I don't get the ratings, how they've downgraded some of these people. I hate that nine go out. And then the last one that Seanan mentioned, um, Lewandowski's gone from a 90 rated to an 89 rated. He scored 40 goals last year, got a 98 rated team of the season card. Well, yeah, I don't know like, what they're doing there. Yeah. If anything, he probably should get upgraded by one if he's got 40 goals last year in all competitions. This isn't a player from my list, but come on, Tom, tell me, what should David Luiz be? Well, we're talking it was 83. About... <laughs> we're talking about Lewandowski, yeah. Archie. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute, Archie. So, right. yeah, Lewandowski, I'd say he probably should get upgraded because say someone like Aguero done that, got 40 goals in all competitions, he'd be at easily 91. Well, that's what I'm confused about. Because like I... one less than Kane. It's like that thing with Messi where it's like they're so good so consistently year on year that like one poor season, everyone's like, oh, they're... Yeah. but he hasn't had a poor season so I don't net get how they've warranted like a downgrade the stats he had 25 in his first year 42 43 41 40 oh, yeah he's, but, dropping right, he's, off. He's, he's dropping off yeah he's consistent and they've given him a one downgrade I, I don't get that at all and he's one above Aubameyang who 
Yeah, I get a Bamiang's rating, but Lewandowski, I reckon, should be 90 or 91 yeah, again. Yeah, be like one of the best strikers in the game. Like, you can, yeah, I don't know what the ratings are. But Suarez, Suarez got a two downgrade as well. So Suarez is now an 89 from a 91. Lewandowski should be like 91, 92. Yeah, 91. Yeah, I'd say 91. Um, yeah, Archie, what were you saying about David Luiz? This is the last one, and then we'll oh, end yeah. it. Tell me, what, what? what should David Luiz be rated? Um, well, he's 83 at the moment, so he didn't get upgraded. I'd probably say, well, I watched considering... him play every single game last last year, so I have like pretty good idea of. Yeah, well, I think Mustafi is an 83 or an 82. Let me have a look. Oh, how? Oh no, Mustafi's a 79. Fucking hell, that was a that was a leaked rating that I've believed and not been true. Um, Socrates is 84. David Luiz, 83. I'd probably say he should be an 80... 82? Yeah, I'd say 81. Yeah, 8. Archie? Um, what's his defending stats like? Cause... Apparently Chris Smolin's still an 80. Really? That's what Footwiz says. For... Yeah, that, that'd be correct. Um, David Luiz is defending stats 82 and his physical is 77 and his pace is 61. Some of his tackling last year, he literally jumps into a tackle side foot. It's weird. He does like a jumping side foot tackle. Yeah, I've, I've seen him just, do that before. Just go round him and it's left us exposed. I mean, to be quite honest, if, if I was rejigging David Luiz's stats, I'd say his passing should be about a 77. Um... Pace should probably be 65 from 61. And then I'd say his defended should get a downgrade by three. It should be 79. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah like, I, I, don't, I don't think there's that much problem with his rating. Yeah, Maybe one downgrade. Anyway, boys. That was, he cost you a penalty that was fun. Well. Mm. I, I wouldn't mind doing another podcast uh, after, like, Barclays Premier League games, like after the weekend, if everyone's up for it. But we'll see how yeah. it goes down. Could be quite cool. Um, yeah, some connection issues at yeah. the start. Reeves literally, like his mic been mind. shit the whole time. Yeah, yeah I've, Reeves, you having a wank on the mic? <laughs> I'm in his mic. I thought that's all. Yeah, sponsored by Pornhub. Um, yeah, cheers for coming on. <laughs>